Hello everyone and welcome back to another travel video. After Naxos, now we've come to another beautiful island in the Cyclades. This place has been our ultimate dream to visit and now we're finally here. Welcome to Milos Island. Today's video, we will take you to our first full day adventure on this special island. Let's explore some unique beaches around and some travel details that you might find helpful the next time you plan your trip to Milos. our last morning here in Naxos and later in the afternoon we will take the ferry to Milos we left Naxos around 5 30 in the afternoon the trip duration from Naxos to Milos is between two and a half hours to six hours, depending on whether you travel with high speed or just with the regular one. We took the fastest ferry company. It took two hours and 30 minutes, including two stops. We paid about 199 euros for two persons and it's a one-way ticket. It's quite pricey, but if you're fine with longer trip duration, then you can go with the regular ferry and you will pay cheaper. So we arrived at Milos around 8 p.m. already and we stayed at Olive Studios. So our room is very spacious and clean. Here you'll find everything you need like a complete set of toiletries, AC, coffee machine, fridge, and stuff like that. Our bed is so huge and there's even an extra single bed next to it. We paid 466 euros for 6 nights and the location is really great. It's near the supermarket, restaurants, harbor and the pharmacy. Here where we are staying is like just a walking distance from the port and then we are already here in the town. So guys, this is our breakfast. We went to a local bakery. So I got the sausage roll, hi, something. And then you got the zok. What else? Two zok. And then this two cappuccinos. We paid 13 euros. We didn't want to waste any time, so we explored Adamantas. It's the port or the harbor town of Milos. It's also the most lively area on the island. Quite busy here, no? It seems like everyone is going on a uh, boat trip, so there's a lot of people here waiting for their boats. That's a nice hotel. So here you can expect a wide range of hotels in Milos. Alongside the port is the Adamantas Main Street where the restaurants and the cute boutiques are. explore that too nice juice 
bar here just next to our accommodation. Here's our rental car guys for our Milo's trip. Paid 200 euros full insurance for the whole week. Got it from Avis budget. We'll go to the beach because we are feeling so hot right now. We need to cool off. After getting a rental car, we drove straight to the southern side of the island. The beach scenery along the way was just so beautiful to look at. And it's about 8 km from Adamantas, we've come to our first beach called Agia Kiriaki Beach. Look at the watercolor guys, it's so clear. Now this is really ultimate guys and that watercolor, uh, it's just so amazing. Aside from the beautiful beach here, there are also few tavernas and cute accommodations around. There are some kiosks also offering sea excursions. So Agia Kiriyaki is definitely a must see in Milos. What a nice view for breakfast, guys. They are slippers because the sand is so hot, guys. See how fine the sand is. And the watercolor is like a shining blue color. So clear. Is it cold? No, it's not. Look, it's like a shining, shimmering blue color. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, it's so clear. So blue. So blue. One of the clearest water I've seen in Greece. Right? It's just our first day, guys, and we are in love already. The beach is so amazing. That's the whole Agia Kariaki beach. And then, at the back of that mountain, there's another beach. That's where we are going to next. Now let's move on to our second beach for today. Just 11 minute drive from Agia Kiriyaki, we've come to a beach called Palio Churi. Compared to Agia Kiriaki, Palio Churi is way bigger and I would say more developed. There are different beach clubs, there are lifeguards, ATM, restaurants, and luxus hotels. Found our spot. There, there are no shaded spots here, guys. But look at the colors of the rock formation. So nice. And of course, the water is also really undeniably blue and clear. Actually, really huge too. So guys, it's Pebble Beach. It's really, really clear. Jeans, what's up? Yeah. Palio Chori Beach is really huge with golden sand and little white pebbles. And the watercolor is also very inviting. What's even more special about this beach are the colorful cliffs. Look at the rock formations and its colors are just so interesting.
now we've come closer to the colorful cliffs it looks so amazing when you come closer guys and the contrast of the watercolor and then this colorful cliffs it looks so amazing i have no words i have no other words to describe it but yeah and i thought it's touristy here it's also not really that much no people it's so quiet here as well you guys look at this spot right here it looks so beautiful we're here on the top of the mountain it's not really that high but you can see the whole view of the beach it looks so stunning from here check this out here at our third beach for today the name of this beach is actually I don't know it's written in Greek so I'll just put on the screen <laughs> I'll ask Google later how it's called in English Philip knows it how it's called again what? the beach the beach name Akivadu Limni Akivadu Limni, Limni. <laughs> so here it's also very nice looking less people again so calm the water and it's also really huge guys so here it is so huge guys actually and the water is so calm and also shallow so i think it's perfect for those travelers with small children and look at the water still very nice that town is where the port is and also where our hotel is so it's like a like a coast all the way here and there's also really nice looking rock formations there yeah it's so beautiful let's check the water I'm, I'm so happy it's just our first day here in Milos and we've seen a lot already and all the beaches that we've been to so far are all great each beach has its own characteristic that's really special and it's really nice right yeah, yeah. so far so good What do you want to eat for next? Hang 
hungry na main tumi. Love the vibe here, you know. Look at that. And then there are some lights there. So romantic here, right? Yeah. Romantic. Prost, na prost. prost. Our order. The portion is so big. I got pork skewers, and it cost about fourteen and fifty euros. And then Philip, as usual, is uh, having his pork gyros. How much it cost, do you know? 13. 13 and beer, 4 euros and 50 and cola. Mm -hmm. 